Okay. That's, do you know what? I feel more frustrated there than I have in them defeats to Brentford, to Brighton, to Man City. I feel more frustrated coming out of the Old Trafford there today than them games. We just didn't have that, that killer instinct again. Absolutely diabolical up front. I haven't got a problem with the defence. Defence was solid. We, yeah, Newcastle had the odd chance in the first half where he had that little bit of a, throw, a, a flurry of chance where he hit the pole, so he hit the bar from the free kick. But honestly, they didn't do anything in the second half. They came for the draw. I, I didn't know that Sam Aldice was still managing Newcastle, to be honest. I really didn't. But hey, whatever floats their boat, uh, they're happy with a draw. For us, it's just frustration and back down to where we was again, knowing that at least we've got a system in place because when you throw one cog that doesn't work in that system it falls apart and that one cog is Fred sadly he's just not good enough for this team he's been five years now we're talking broken record status every single season with the man and it is never ever ever going to work with him but you know what Scott McTominay's yellow card against Everton looks even worse than what it was then now it looks stupid then we missed that extra play today it was really unfortunate that Everton was ill because we missed that creativity we missed that spark and we can't play that risk football when Fred's around. There were moments there in that second half when De Gea was passing the ball, I'm saying, you're just going to have to not pass it to Fred. You can't pass it to Fred. He's an easy target and everything, every single chance they had, even their free kick, which came to them chances where they hit the bar in the post, came from a Fred foul. Everything was through Fred. And in the end, he had a chance to redeem himself. All he had to do was go and be brave. Use your right foot, Fred. No, I mean, your left foot's not that great, but try using your right foot and it goes in and we win. He didn't, he bottled it. And you know what? Ten Hag talks about being brave. He talks about taking them chances. At the back we did, we tried to pass it out, but then going forward, I went back to thinking, oh, past Ten Hag, it's Ralph Ranić, the physicality. I don't think Jaden Sancho's got one muscle in his body. He's one of the weakest wingers I've ever seen in my life. And I know what Ranić's talking about now, and I can see even Ten Hag, because he's talked about it as well. He's not strong enough. He didn't take a player on once. I don't know what's wrong with him. I've not seen him go past the man since he's been here, to be fair. Anton F, the other side, was a little bit better, but then Dan Burns on a yellow card. Why are you not running at him? He didn't go past him once when he went on a yellow card. I don't understand what happens to these players and what goes through their heads. It does come down to what Ten Hag says in terms of mentality. Have you got what it takes? Can we beat that low block? Can you be that bit different? Play that ball, be a bit more decisive, take a chance. Well, no, there wasn't much of that there. The effort was there, I'll give him that. It was there, but to be fair, that, that killer instinct and I've said it over and over again I've slaughtered our forward line not being good enough this season I goes for Ronaldo as well Sancho Anthony even today Rashford poor you've got to put that header away you've got to put that header away it's like they're doing all the hard graft but they're forgetting about what they're there to do which is put the ball in the net ultimately play that killer ball play that that, that moment Rashford nearly did when he went round Pope but Fred messed it up he did everything right and then it was just set up for him perfectly go on just give us that moment so we can all show your name going out again. I know he failed. And then everyone's talking negative again as we're coming out. And it just seems to be that two step forward, one back. But I'm not going to try and be too disheartened with it. Newcastle came for the draw and got it, and it was their day today. If they're happy with playing that way, that's like I said, that's whatever floats your boat. That's up to you. It was poor from them, and I can now see where that eight or nine minutes of injury time came from at Anfield when they won the game against them. It was all morning. I can see exactly where that came from now because I've never seen so many players drop to the floor like that lot did today. But anyway, that was their game plan and it worked for them. They got the point and they're moving away up there. Uh, and we're disappointed again. That's what it comes down to. Big disappointment today because Chelsea have won. Arsenal are winning, as I know. And we've just fallen a little bit behind again. It just puts pressure on Tottenham and Chelsea now. We have to win both of them games now. And another pragmatic manager coming on Wednesday kind of worries you a little bit because Conte is just going to see that United can't break teams down with that low block. People will question that substitution of Ronaldo. If it was Ronaldo in Rashford's position, would he have put that ball in? I don't know. But to be honest, Ronaldo disappointed me again today. Uh, but it's ifs, buts and maybes, isn't it? There's just no definites with Man United at the moment. It's nearly ifs, not quite. It's what it's going to be. But I will say it, and I said it at the start of this video, it does look like Ten Hearts work is working. We expected to have some ups and downs through the season, but ultimately at the start of the season, we all said we wanted a system in place. I still think we can make top four, by the way. We wanted a system, we know how, we, how we're playing. We know going into games how we're going to play. And we did that today, we just had that you no know, killer instinct. But like I said, 
it all depends on everyone being fit and that's the problem with us we all ask the question when it breaks and we lose a key player we lost we lost Ericsson today I mean that was a big one Rashford was on the bench probably like I said before after the Ammonia game have we exuded too much energy trying to beat the Minnows from Cyprus and not been fully fit ready for this game I think that's why Ten Hag did what he did in playing Sancho Sancho had a chance today he failed but it does look like the system is in place there. We are missing four players though. We need an extra right back. We need to spend big on a centre forward. Someone who's strong, someone who can hold the ball up. We need another centre midfielder. And then for me, you know what? It's his 500th game today, but I can see why. We may need a goalkeeper. And I'm going to get slaughtered for that. But I'm not, I'm not a nostalgic person. I don't care about giving an opinion. I don't care about saying something about someone who's been here at a club or scored a certain amount of goals. I do believe we need that something different in goal. I do, because it's I don't have the confidence there, I really don't. And it's sad to say because I love David and I love what he's done for the football club. But look what Pep Guardiola did, look what Jurgen Klopp did. They changed everything up and they weren't scared about what people were saying. We have to back the manager now. And you know what? I do feel like there is still room there for Ten Hag to improve this team. I think his influence is coming across, but we need more. We need more in terms of depth in them positions. And if these players want to play, they're going to have to start doing more. I'm talking about that whole front line. The midfield at the moment is doing a shift. Fred shouldn't have been playing today, we know that. It wasn't his fault that Tomney got suspended and Ericsson was ill. But we're just looking at Fred today being the one that looked worse than everyone else, and he was. He was way below everyone else in our team today, and that's ultimately where the rhythm went. And where Newcastle pretty much created most of their chances from and put us more on the back foot than what we should have been in that game. Best player on the part today for me was Luke Shaw. I thought Luke Shaw was our best player. Uh, he was brave enough going forward. I thought he was strong, probably the one physicality we had in the team, definitely on the wings anyway going forward. But for me, you're yeah, good to see Luke, Luke Shaw back in form. I'm not completely disarmed. I'm gutted today, but I'm not completely disheartened by what's happening at the club as a whole. I'm going to try and stay positive with it because I can see the improvement. I can see the improvement. Did not expect a nil-nil today. My title from my road trip is going to go right down the Swanee now. Expect goals. <laughs> I can already see the comments building up right now. Let me know what you thought anyway, people. Like, share and subscribe to the United Stand as always. Cheers for watching.